Tim Albright with Aviation at CDN 2017 with Reed Cram from Vantage. How are you, sir? Great, Tim. How are you today? Good. Good show so far? Excellent. Love being here. Absolutely. Um, we, we, I've talked to several uh, Legrand companies here and, and we referenced the, the home uh, demo that you guys have going on. We were actually standing in the, the bedroom version of that, That's right? That's right. Uh, and talk about the, what you call human-centric lighting. Yes. Explain that for me. Yeah, Tim, it's a, it's a, a massive trend in the market today. Um, and there are several benefits that, are, that have been documented in studies of human-centric lighting. Basically, um, we're trying to get back to lighting that simulates the sunlight throughout the day. Okay. As we've evolved, our bodies have become accustomed to going from warm in the morning um, to brighter, stronger uh, light during the midday, and then back to warm again in the evening. And a lot of studies have found that um, as we follow that pattern, productivity increases, um, mood uh, improves. There, been, there are some health benefits that people are, are starting to see with this type of lighting. Uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a great opportunity, particularly in areas uh, where there may be a lot of overcast skies, um, that, that, to bring in some lighting that uh, simulates the sunlight and helps us to enjoy um, simulated outdoor light. And when we combine that with our shading control, you can open the blinds when there's sun, sunlight, uh, you can close the blinds um, uh, for security, and yet still enjoy um, that simulated sunlight throughout the day. The color temperature that's right for that time of day. That's correct, yes. Okay. Uh, one of the things is, uh, you know, looking at different architectural lighting and, and, and trends in that, there was a time when they said it has to be, you know, blue light or, you know, it had to be warmer light. But that was installed lighting, and once you made that decision, that was it, right? That's but correct. What's kind of cool about this is you can adjust it based on your, your vantage control, and you can, I'm assuming you can tie it to, you know, um, the atomic clock to tell what time of day is and, and, and program it. To where, as as it gets to the, be seven o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock in the morning, the color temperature of these lights will change. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. It'll change throughout the year based on the astronomical time clock, just as you, oh, wow, as okay. you mentioned. Yeah. So, so we can actually set up um, an annual um, simulated sunrise sunset uh, based on the time. Based of on year. where you are geographically. And where you are and, geographically. And yeah. So if you're in Alaska, uh, we can give you a lot more sunlight. Oh my God. <laughs> well, that, actually, no, that's a really great point. If you are in Alaska, or you know, in, in the far northern hemisphere, you know, Scandinavian places like that, where they do have you know, the land of the midnight sun, where it, it only sets for maybe an, an hour or so. And conversely, during the winter, when there is no sun, could you simulate maybe a different place in the world, but to give them an actual full day's worth of light? Absolutely. And the nice thing is, as you mentioned, instantaneously you can change that. Uh, let's say that you need, you need to be super productive, you're in your home office, and um, you want to have some really nice bright light to help you accomplish a task. You can select that is, um, instantaneously, or you can follow the pattern of anywhere in the world and yeah, and, and uh, be on the San Diego beach when you're actually in Scandinavia. How difficult is this to program? Because that's one of the things is, you know, um, you know very talented programmers in this industry that, that do great control and automation, but there are some you know, aspects that, you know what, I, I don't know the lighting that well, or I, I don't really, you know, uh, this is not my thing, color temperature is not my thing, I'm a control guy. How easy is this to, to program? It's very easy. It's a, it, uh, for programmers that know the, uh, the Vantage system, it's like programming our dimmers, okay. where you can set a maximum on and a, and a, a minimum low, or sorry, a maximum high and a minimum low. Uh, same thing with color temperature. You can set uh, the lowest warm that you want and the highest intensity that you want, uh, and it'll stay within those parameters, and then mm. you can base it um, based on you know time of day or um, uh, you know the the schedule of sun, etc. Yeah. All right. Uh, are these available now? If not, when they when are they available? Yeah, so yeah. So actually, we're partnering. Uh, part of our partnering program, uh, we're partnering with a company by the name of Luminetics. Okay. Um, they provide the engine. The lighting is by WAC lighting, all available now, and it's driven by our DMX driver. And so through the Vantage system, uh, not only can we control the color temperature, but the intensity. So you've got both the dimming and, and the um, circadian rhythm cover color as well. All right, very good. Russ Cram from Vantage. How do people get a hold of you guys? Uh, www.vantagecontrols.com. All right, very good. Russ from, from Vantage Controls. My name is Tim Albright. For more information about us, you can find us at avianation.tv.